Hello once again everyone and welcome to episode 52 After last time As you might remember Night Song Dame Alien pull out uh, the Well that move The Bane on Batman On Lorakan And uh, It seems like she was feeling a bit weird about it The firehead fool is dead Yet as I stare upon his corpse I feel Sadness. Why? I don't. I don't know. A gripping in the chest, as though I'd lost someone. Something. Uh, uh, Paladin's fatigue, no doubt. You were excellent in battle, as is your way. And I am proud to fight at your side. And you, tiefling. You did not embarrass yourself. I will catch my breath. Then to camp I will bring my bones. Moon Maiden be with you. Oh, fair enough. I don't get it. What's got Dame Aelin so down? I, for one, am delighted Laroakan got what was coming to him. Uh, has endured a great deal. Hmm. But I don't know. I don't know what this is about, quite frankly. I don't know. Isn't that what a paladin of Saluna does? <sighs> Hope that good old Aelin holy fervor returns to her soon. I don't like to see her looking so lost. Hmm. Well, I would definitely like to see what that's about. I, I frankly have no idea. This guy <laughs> must have been lost. Uh, where's Roland, by the way? There he is. What's going on now? The Rurikan is dead. The bastard is dead. So he was your master? The Rurikan was a cruel and vicious man. By day, I'd tend the shop, but at night... He'd fire the most nonsensical questions at me. And for every one I answered wrong, he'd beat me. I could have killed him with my own two hands. But I kept thinking it was all a test. It had to be. I thought it was the price I had to pay to become a true wizard. I realize now he was just a sick, sick man. I see. I have, with your considerable help, I see things clearly now. If I wish to master the weave, I must do it myself. Thankfully, I have everything I need right here. <laughs> okay, roll on, Master Ramasif Tower. Yeah, so today we are going to uh, be exploring a lot this tower. Uh, it's a bit sad, really, that at the time of starting this series, I did not know that by snatching Gale's hand, you actually lost them. Well, that, yeah, I didn't know at the time. Uh, uh, I would have done things differently because there's a lot in this place that are related to him and a lot of missions that we're going to miss in lore specifically. But yeah. <laughs> oh, I like the sound of that. I do indeed. Um, I'll move Cal and Leah in immediately. The Roican refused to let them stay here. They are gonna love the tower. I wouldn't have this, the tower, my family, without you. What can I do to thank you? Allies. And you'll have me. I'll learn everything I can about the tower in the meantime. He's joining. Even if I have to rip this place apart. But He's joining the this. war. Ramazith's tower and its master are now your friends. And when the time comes, we will stand by you as allies. Oh, well, there you go. So, yeah. As I was saying, we want to explain this place, uh, explore this place a lot. 
Um, and also, yeah, it's very sad that uh, we won't be able to do all Gale's thing in this uh, series. Uh, I don't really know. I don't really know what to do. I don't really know. Do you... Let me know in the comments. Would you like me to up upload separately all things related to Gale? Uh, with Gale, of course. Or, I don't know, let's say another big character that we obviously could not could have not had its story would be Minthara. Would you like that? Mm, I don't know. I, I wish that I can do it. Uh, in due time. But yeah, this tower has a lot of secrets. So that's what we're, what we're going to be seeing today. Uh, up here there's nothing really. Well. With that portal we go back. I did not click the portal. No, go back. That little hideaway that we found in the cloister. It almost felt like I'd found a piece oh, of my childhood. Oh, yeah, we never talk about this. Childhood I don't truly remember. But remember it or not, I felt right at home there. Surrounded by books and night orchids. Yeah, that's why she liked uh, those flowers. Can you imagine what it would have been like growing up in that place? Endless training, no privacy, facing scorn wherever I looked. I can very easily imagine I needed somewhere to escape to, if I was to survive. Nocturne and I must have come here a lot. We probably had plenty we wanted to hide from. Anyway, I think that little hideaway helped shape who I am. As much as any sermon or training did. Funny the things that influence you. Hmm. What about the memories? Yeah. Most are lost forever. Some may creep back into my mind if I encounter anything that helps clear the fog. Then... There's what Shah did restore to me. Memories of pain. Suffering. Both my own and what I inflicted. It's overwhelming. Oh. Like a lifetime's worth of nightmares unleashed all at once upon waking. I can barely untangle one moment from another, not that I even want to. I just know that my heart sinks if I let my thoughts wander to them. Shah seeks to break people. To fill their lives with despair so that they will turn to her for relief. Perhaps she thought this would lead me back to her in time. But it won't. I fought too hard to win my freedom. I will not give it up again, no matter how much it hurts. Mm, very well then. That's interesting. We never did. Perhaps. But in the meanwhile, I'll just have to find a way to live with them. Hey, well, yeah, I did not mean to click the portal. Let's uh, go back in. Alright, so. Uh, I don't know if it, you can come from the outside. No, it seems not. So, let's have a look here first. You see, in the lower level, you have all this thing outside. And man, you can see the whole fucking thing from here. Holy shit. Right. So yeah, how do we make it to the to the lower floor? Well, with that enchanted furniture you see there. It's gonna be step by step. 
Very well. Be there are Where? Very well. So, first of all, let's go... Uh, where are we? I really traps. hope what I'm missing is not traps. Well, they are. How do we get out? I reckon there is a... Hidden place. So, you see, there is a lot of plaques here. And those are buttons. We will be looking at them. Soon enough. Oh, there it is. There's one outside. Am I moving? Oh. Right. Let's see what we got here. This is a mage hand. But it does nothing. Be warned. Following from our meeting, be warned officially never to touch Lorocan's magic buttons within the tower. He alone knows which is where and why. And any mistake could prove quite deadly. Hmm, okay. You see there is a hand there. Mage hand, apparently it's watering the plants. Artillery. This one does nothing. Hmm. There's a few things over there. Well, not really. Just a lot of junk. Well, nothing. Let's get in. So. Every plaque and button takes you somewhere or does something particularly. So you see here, for example, down there in this lower level, we have this, um, I don't know, fields of magic surrounding these th things. Well, you can, you can work here, actually. This is an illusion. Um, but... Before going uh, to this lower level, we're going to go somewhere else. So let's have the... Let's see the plaques. This is security. Security, uh, do not touch that one. A few things around here. Below. Below, it's that, I I think. Clean up. Uh, I don't even remember what it does. I just remember I don't have to touch it either. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, clean, clean up is not to clean, it's obviously to clean you from here. And the vaults, this is where we're gonna go. Matter of fact, we are gonna separate people. And I'm gonna be sending them differently. So this is vaults. Vaults. Mmm, actually, yeah. Right. Display case. Okay, this is where it, it begins. Because there is a lot of things here. Look at that. Where we slot some of those potions. Right, so this is, uh, will not let you unlock it. But I think we can break it. Yeah. Uh, let's see. The Red Knight's final stratagem. Before her time uh, as an exarch of temples and goddess of strategy, the Red Knight was a paladin most devout. Uh, she toured armies the world over as both student and teacher. 
and thus was she elevated by tempos to her current status. These pages contain that of her witch was left on the material plane after her ascension. Quite some valuable knowledge hidden between these pages. Hmm. Artist, uh, artistry of war. Hmm. Huh. Six masters of strategist. Every short rest. Huh, that's... That's good, isn't it? Very well. Let's go through the door. Right. So we got two wooden chests. And obviously this is like a... I oh know, it's a lever. Got these two chests. Mm, I should have brought up Starion here. Actually, yeah, let's bring him. Why not? Otherwise, it's gonna take ages. Right. Simple. Well, elixirs and whatnot. Now. Nothing much, but. This is something I taught you long ago. When the map is finished, like that, means that it's finished, but when it's cut down, like that, it's because it's a, uh, it's a fake wall. Oh, yeah. I've said that in a lot of videos. Maybe you didn't hear it. And that's... Peculiar lamp. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, dude. Uh, you've arrived in the nick of time, saintly adventurer. I've been trapped for so long, I dare say I'm half mad. Ho, ho! <laughs> Is in this thing I am the Thank circus you for sacrificing yourself to save me. What? Such courage brings a tear to the eye. I don't think this is the one, the same from the circus. Release me, you'll regret it. Thank you for sacrificing yourself to save me. What are you talking about? You see, this glorious lamp is both an oasis and a prison. Someone must be inside at all times. But you were the first brave enough to take my place. Ah. Ever so much. Toodles! And he vanishes. And we are stuck at the, at the lamp. Forever. <laughs> well, yeah, that's what happens. You, I think you can kill him and get a few things. But to be completely honest, lad, it's totally worth it coming down here. Uh, just because you have you have a lot of shit to pick up. Yeah, that will be the ver the first secret of this tower. Then we are to to discover little genie Ditty. If you were trapped in in a magic lamp, you wouldn't like it a bit. It's tiny and stuffy and oily and damp, and you uh, you've had to shrink to fit. You sit here and ponder your only hope that some other fool will enter. Then you'll get out, but the entering dope will find their lamp's new renter. Damn. And here you got the summon of a quasset and another scroll, a scroll of wallstone. And you'll see why that is important if you if you get trapped here. We got gold there. And we got potions. We love them potions, of course. Other than that, just a lot of junk that if you want, you can pick up. Maybe you're short of money, mm, which I don't think. This is actually the, the, the lowest money I've had at this point in the game. Uh, well, not much really. 
I mean, we can pick the supplies. I, I don't think we've... Uh, I think we have not picked any any supplies. Uh, I don't know. Maybe in more than 20 episodes or even way more. Scimitar. And yeah, I think that's it. So, how do you get out? Well, someone has to be inside. A hookah. What the hell? I never realized that. What, you drank it? Oh, very well then. Oh, well. Um, well, you can fight the genie. And I don't really remember what it gives to you. But we can use the, the scroll of... Um, of the imp, this quasit. And when we use it, the lamp has a renter that's sitting there in the scroll. So without, uh, I don't know. Now we go, we go back in. You cannot pick it up. The quasi is outside. Oh, but I can't. <laughs> oh, very well then. Mm. How do we do this then? I cannot even move it. Can I? Somewhat. Ah, oh, there it is. Right, so now... The Quasit stays inside forever. Until it's dismissed, of course. And we can continue. Got this lever here. No one back home will ever believe this. Uh scope them. That's curious. And well that's the portal in which we We get out of here. Storage and sorting of scroll work, parchment, and tomes. But we don't want to go back just yet. This is just like the other place. Uh, yeah, come on. How for a skeleton key. It is not the same, by the way. It looks exactly like the same. Let's check the walls. This one is not. Must be this one then. Huh. It isn't. Yeah, you see in the map it's... Ah, it's... It looks like this one should be. Well, theory... Uh, debunked. No entry to vaults. Trespassers will be disintegrated. Master Laroican. Mm. Stop for warning. Fail all the perceptions. In any case. Here we are. Elminster, Severand, Carsus. In previous videos, I've talked about Carsus and his lore related to Gale. Also, Elminster and Silverhand, I don't really know much about it. But, uh, well, yeah. I don't know. If you've been following the series, you know. Because I already explained it. And then again, let me know if you want me to do uh, separately everything that's related to Gale. So. Um Right. We wanna stay here for a little while. We're gonna go back uh, to the girls. Actually gonna do that. And we wanna go down there. But I think 
Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna bring Will. And I reckon Will is gonna be useful in the episodes to come. We're gonna be... Uh, we're gonna do the whole thing with answer and we gotta start finishing up some stories. I don't know if I can bench Karlak uh, being separated. Karlak. Maybe later. Maybe later. No, I can't. Very well then. It matters not. Let's get to this. Uh, so that's uh, the vault where my paladin and astarion are. Then the cleanup uh, below here. Let's try this way. Below, it's over there with the with the whole thingy. Right. Scroll of eye bite. Some arrows. Oh, very well then. What's cooking? Let's see. Easy. <laughs> this will be fun. I don't really know what it did. Oh, still not. Let's go. There we are. This is a key for the vault. We clean up the whole bank, so I guess it doesn't really matter. That's it. Right, so here's the thing. Uh, if we pull the lever, we're gonna have to make a... We're gonna have to roll a 20 in intelligence. None of my characters have intelligence. Uh, the highest is Will with 13, so that's why I actually want to try Will and and try to make this faster but yeah you guys will only see when we when we make the roll and i will have to roll a 20 here <laughs> very well so as you can see this thing is protecting a couple of relics and this barrier cannot be um hit with nothing absolute nothing so yeah there we go Holy shit, okay. That's what happens for not having a wizard. Uh Marco Heskia. Better take that. Let's have a look. Mmm Arcane Battery allevi uh, alleviate the arcane burden of spell casting. Well it's for a uh, for a wizard. Uh, Draconic Goddess. Hmm. And you get a level 4 evocation spell. Right? I mean, it's alright. We don't have a. We're not playing with a wizard. Now it's time to get this thing. Whatever it is, I don't really know. Right. Holy fuck, let's go. I wasted all my uh, uh, inspiration. Rope or the weave, and it's all for wizards. Well, it makes sense, doesn't it? But it's still. Uh, plus one, bonus to spell, save this. You know, there is, uh, there is a build or two we can make on wheel, uh, wizard like. But yeah, there it is. There's that, and we can come up with the button, and we're gonna go towards the uh, where the other characters are. Here, oh. I left her behind. My bad. 
Yeah, because down there it's uh, we're gonna find a couple of um, interesting things. Remember the book that I show you? Um, the book we got in episode six or seven, I'm not mistaken. Um, and today here, down here in the tower, we get to learn a few things about it. We used it uh, previously in the mirror. Where, where is this? That was in the last episode. My face protects me. There is this portal. With this portal, we go uh, out out of here. We don't want to do that just yet, because we are at this place here, and we're gonna have to scatter. My characters. Uh, in the meanwhile, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start. Uh, Precisely. So, uh, Elmin uh, Carsus and Elminster, I've talked about in previous videos. You guys, if you if you watch the specific video that I don't even know which one it is, you know the lore behind Car uh, Carsus. I'm gonna get disarming these traps. And the thing is here, uh, you cannot lockpick none of these doors. You cannot enter. So, uh, Aragon, I'm gonna send a starion around. We got Silver Hand traps. that you can go through. We just stepped on a trap, I think. Uh, yeah. So we move, we blow. Right. Once here, we got illusion, evocation, transmutation. With transmutation, you go back uh, to where you were. Abduration. And so on. Right. Uh, we're gonna go to here. Taking care of not stepping on the trap. Or stepping on another one. So many flipping traps. From evocation we got many other things. You see? What is down the map? Hold on. Ah, okay. Wait, what? Tarakai Codex. Yeah, so we, we'll get to see about that. So, Gate, Wish, Foresight, Vulnerability. I think we got to Wish first. Traps. How it's full of traps. Right, so here... Got this liver. Oh. Unlock hereby the path to the Elminster Vault. Right. So my characters are behind, uh, beside the door of Elminster and Carsus. I pulled this up, and now the um, now the El Elminster door is open. I'm guessing that's. What usually happens? Ah oh, no, every every other sends you there. So yeah, Elminster's Nothing hurts anymore. door is open. Right, and we got some chests. And that is Tarkai uh, Tarkiate Com uh, Codex. I don't know how to pronounce that. Hmm. Yeah, we got a lot of wizard stuff. We it, like uh, this is a Gale mission, you know. Uh, well, no, but it kinda. It's everything wizard related. When you deal fire damage with a level spell, and you burn yourself and gain an additional bonus action. But that's not all too bad. 
right. I'm guessing it's just like the others. If you touch it, you get kind of get cursed. The pages are covered in esoteric symbols and strange runes. Some indecipherable, uh, but some strangely familiar. Your eyes are drawn to one page describing a long lost book. The Necromancy of Thay. The book that we have. The one with the face and the jewel. There are secrets of life and death known only to red wizards. Committing such secrets uh, to parchment is a risk they are loath to take. Uh, lest the unworthy case upon them, who better than uh, to guard their secrets? Then the spirits of the jealous dead themselves. To look upon the necromancy of Thay is to risk madness at the hands of his spirits. But the wise traveler who can tread the line between life and death will find knowledge witnessed by precious few mortals. The rest of the entry details have uh, uh, precautions and risk associated with reading the text, but lays out a clear path to unraveling the secrets contained in this tome. And we get uh, cursed. Uh, yeah. Tarkai withering. I think we can just do this though. We have the same spell differently. Right. I wait for Elminster's door now. Uh, let's take the paladin. Why not? Uh, yeah. Evocation. Hmm. Let's have a look at the book. Okay, so if we read this, it means that we now can read this. The missing pages that we couldn't look before. Right? The book radiates power, yeah. but the words you read in the codex echo in your mind, guiding your eyes safely across the page. The once indecipherable glyphs now feel dangerously familiar. Promising unholy power to those who can take it. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Saving throw. Read on, uh, on the rest of the box power from it. Right. As you pass the strange glyphs, you can feel the book resisting. Ghostly voices whisper at you from the dark, probing and fighting your mind. But your will is iron, and you brush past these shades of the past, devouring every secret the book has to offer. You see now life and death are malleable as clay, to be bent and reshaped by your will, by your power. But as you close the book, a nagging doubt whispers in your mind. What consequences will there be for calling the dead from their rest? Right. Hmm. God knows. So we get from that, from doing all of that. To, 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 I don't even know which one it is, but we get necromancy. The difference is that with whatever thing we got, that I don't, uh, here I think, yeah, this one. The difference is I can summon four um, ghouls, and but yeah, the difference with the normal necromancy is that I don't need to, I not, I don't need corpses. I can just cast them. That's what that's what it uh, what that's about. So, uh, I mean, I reckon we can go anywhere now. It's probably a better idea if a starion does it. So, Elminster's door done. We did. Uh, I don't even know. Do 
Transmutation takes you back. Abduration. I don't even know what that is. As usual. Uh, shadow. Silver. Demon. Wild. Mm. Let's go here. A trap. Someone doesn't like visitors. In the end, we're gonna do all of them, so let's see this one. Carsus. Walk here by the path to the Carsus vault. Right, so this is Carsus. I'll tell you what, we're gonna unlock every one of them. Why not? Ow. Okay, so this is, uh, that's, that's where the shadow takes you. Where did I even go? Right. Gate, invulnerability, foresight. Huh. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, never mind. We're gonna do all of them. Although I think only one works. I think that's the thing. Right? Right. We did wild. Let's do demon. No, everything uh, everything it's the same. Okay then. So I'm guessing it's uh, I'm guessing you could you could call this a little bit of a puzzle. So, Carsus, if you guys didn't watch that video, it's the one that killed the old god of magic, basically. Uh, it was a wizard. The old god of magic before Mistra was a uh, Mistro or something like that? I don't remember. I did explain the whole shebang in one video. And destroyed all of Netherin, Netheril, or whatever the land is called. Uh, there are a few artifacts that are from uh, there are netheril artifacts that are very important. We have three of them. Uh, the stones, the nether stones. We have two, and the third one it's a Gortash one that we want to get. But another, uh, you know, those are the, the the three stones are one. There is other two uh, artifacts, which is the the crown. That the crown is very important that you know that the brain that that was explained to us by Gortosh. The brain has the crown, and that's what was stole from him. Bow breaker. Oh, this is really good. Uh, let me see. Ignores uh, bludgeoning resistance. When you miss an attack, you deal six uh, six bludgeoning damage anyway. Ah, I like that. I don't know. Maybe I'll use it. Some gold. Magus be warned. That's a lot of uh, text. I thought myself an equal to Mistra and devised a plan to make myself her equal. I would pluck one stand of weave and contain it within an amulet I, I spent the better portion of my years devising. How regret instantly uh, heaved itself upon my head. I was strapped within the amulet inst uh, instantaneously and passed around from collector to curio hall for the better part of millennium. Only now that I am freed, 
with barely the strength to hold my quill, can I leave the final warning as testimony? Hmm. Who can this be? Hmm. The Arnolds of Carsus, Scroll of the Throne. Gold. An ancient handwritten book rebound at, la at least twice. Uh, that purports to be notes written by the Armage Carsus himself. So this is the guy I just explained about. Much of it is personal wizard cipher, but the final page is written in clear text. My great spell of transcendence is mine alone. Not to be committed to ink and parchment, but I have also forged uh, three supreme enchanted items that are the physical embodiments of my wizardry. And of them I shall make records. There is a crown, an orb, and a scepter. So the the crown, the one from the rain, the orb, the orb was what Gale had in his chest. Uh, we're not going to do the whole th Gale thing, obviously. So as it is, be that as it may, if you want me, yeah, let me know in the comments. I will do the whole thing with Gale as a separate thing. Uh, not a full series, just displaying everything related to Gale and his lore. And a lot of the uh, of Nedril and Wizards, you know, I can just do it, probably. And a Scepter. I don't know the Scepter, if you can find him in the game. No idea, quite frankly. Each Naya alive, and with its own power and purpose, I, and this I, re, I call the Regalia of Carsus. The Crown of Carsus to attract and absorb magical knowledge, and give the wearer dominion over himself, so that he remains his own entity apart from the Weave. The, the Orb of Carsus, a storage device or battery that condenses mystic power uh, ever gathering so that it must be siphoned uh, uh, at intervals of its excess. The scepter of Carsus is an instrument of projection, a focusing out utensil for the precise wielding and unimaginably vast forces. None of these items you must for if I fail uh, to achieve immortality. They will persist, and I de and there I say, live on beyond me. And we get scroll of the throne. Share a false uh, every essence by pulling on strands of the weave. Okay, more wizard stuff. Uh, stuff. That's interesting to say the least. Uh, not entirely sure if there's anything else. Abjuration. We've gone through here, haven't we? Yeah. This we already did. This is Cars uh, Elminster's thing. Demon we did, wild I think we did. Mm, this is right at the beginning, right? Yeah. What is that? So yeah, that's it, that's it. Right? Yeah. Let's get out then. Uh, we got that spell from the book. Is there anything else? Storage and sorting of scroll work, parchment, and tomes. Right. Let's get out of here. Oh, this is where we get out. I wonder if we can just get out. Probably we're gonna drag attention or something. Well, we got here a key. 
Uh, Sorcerer's Sundry's basement chest key. We can go to the basement. Master Lorogan has requested his storm of divination spells uh, be brought to the basement. He must focus without interruption in order to see the unseen. Since you refuse to speak to me since the incident with the ape, I have no choice but to make my request in writing. Uh, wait. It's the vault, the ba the basement, or is it another place? For the start and sturdy, that uh, those are bounty hound, uh, bounty hunters requests. What to do? Very well. Let's see. You've set foot in a restricted area. A swift exit may be in order. Hmm. Yeah, don't worry. We'll be leaving. Oh, you've been caught trespassing again. Yes, yes. I'm. Um, let's let's leave, guys. Come on. Right. What? Not for communal use, it seems. Let's show some respect or some more cunning. What the fuck? Already leaving. Very well. Loragan is still here. That's weird because. Uh, yeah, that shouldn't be a thing anymore. I don't really know if there is a way to enter the basement here. Uh... Oh, there's a corpse here? What the hell? Ah, that. Uh... Practicing necromancy. Right. Oh yeah, it must be a way to the basement, but we'll have to check it afterwards. For now, what I would like to do... Um, well, first of all, we gotta... We gotta go rest. A wager. Yeah, okay. Uh, no, 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 wait. I know what we're gonna do. Uh, I, wa I want to go see one particular place. Since we are not, uh, we don't have Gale and we're not gonna see any, any of that. I just want to see if something happens if we take his hand. <laughs> Probably nothing happens, you know, but... Oh, yeah, and I had that uh, choice of dialogue with Lacelle. At some point that we were talking about the egg and what we're gonna do now that we don't have the egg. The egg is here. So I'm gonna take it at some point and see if that does something. So I'm taking Gale's hand. We're not gonna rest. We're gonna go somewhere first. Right, so I do believe it's here, Basilisk Gate, at the very beginning. Yeah, that that place here. Stormshore Tabernacle. Right. This is a place of worship. Faithless creatures seldom cross our threshold, Oathbreaker. You have come what? far, I perceive. How may I serve you this day? How do you know, Oathbreaker? I am Vicar Humbletoes, guardian of the Stormshore Tabernacle. I keep the peace in this sacred place and guide those in need. What can I do here? Here, clerics may commune with their gods and even hear their responses if they are so favored. 
I am also granted the power to provide holy resurrection through sales of revivification scrolls. Oh, of course, just a trader child, then? Within limits. Behold my wares. Oh, you got zero gold. Revivify. Hmm. Not that good, really. There is very little uh, good cloaks in the game. Uh, this one, it's alright. It's a weapon for that paladin, I would say. Radiant and necrotic. You know what? I'm gonna buy you the things. Uh, as many things. You got zero. <laughs> uh, the scrolls. Always useful. And I'm gonna buy these things for you. Right. I am encumbered, I think. No, not yet. Very well. So, lads. This here, it's a statue of Mistra. I mean, there is many gods here. That is a Luna. Uh, this one is Deer. This one, I don't even know who it is. I think this is the god of, uh, like, um, some paladin figure. And this is a general statue, like, of the gods. Um, when you come to the statues, you can offer... Make an offering, right? You see an altar dedicated to Mistra. Right. Mistra, mother of all magic, is the patron of wizards and often called upon by other spellcasters as well. She's said to be a jealous goddess. Your studies of religion Damn. don't suffice to tell you more. Make an offering. So this is what I want to try. The thing is you have to offer gold. Right? Like, you have to offer a lot of gold to, to... To suffice what they want. For example, if I offer... Just any old shit, for example... I don't even know. Some scrolls. And... Yeah. Your offering is accepted. But more evidence yeah. of devotion is required. That's what it's gonna say all the time. What I wanted to to know, it's... See if I can give her the hand. If anything happens, because... Regarding Gale's hand, uh, well, Gale's lore... Uh, the thing is, it's missing a finger. It wasn't missing a finger before. It's that Gale basically uh, was involved in a romantic relationship with Mistra. Yeah. Uh, that, that, in case you didn't know, probably you know already. But yeah, just wanted to see if anything happens. Your offering is accepted, but more evidence of devotion is required. Well, nothing happens then. It's a bit disappointing. Guide to an exorcism, hear my prayer. Uh, I reckon this. Uh, oh, I don't remember. I think this is like some paladin related stuff. You see an altar dedicated to Helm the Vigilant. Helm the Vigilant. Helm the Watcher is a guardian god dedicated to the preservation of order. Many turn to him in troubled times. Your knowledge of religion Ooh. tells you nothing more about the Damn. worship of Helm. Well, if you guys uh, want the whole guild thing, we're gonna see all of this, probably. You know what? I'm gonna do it anyway, probably. Uh, very well. So, something that can happen, it's probably uh, Shadowheart can interact with the Seluna. statue of Seluna. Had life turned out differently, I might have been kneeling in prayer here. Let's see. Feel the chill gaze of the Moon Maiden upon you. Saluna welcomes you. Hopefully she makes the the check. Although we all have very An little. reads: Let all who worship the changing tides of life and knowledge feel the blessings of Saluna. Trust in the purity of my light, 
see the constancy in its inconstancy, and you will be guided aright. As a moon-bathed cleric, this is your moment to bask in her lunar light and imbue your spirit with her majesty and grace. Right, let's make an offer. So... Uh, the thing is we can mostly offer gold. Uh, I think that that's the only thing. A diamond. And I think it's about like, it has to be about 10k or something like that. Hmm. I don't know, how much am I willing to lose? I mean, it's not like we even need it. Right? You know what? Fuck it. The amount you've offered proves your faith and devotion. <laughs> you may now pray here once a day for a divine blessing. Uh, beseech a blessing from your deity. Show reverence before your deity and open your soul to their divine power. The cold white light of Saluna fills you with majestic wisdom and grace. Shine forth as the moon maiden shines. Oh, okay. Uh... Hmm. But I don't know. I don't know what that did. 23 strength, that's for the gloves. Maybe it's that. I don't know. Anyway, we lost a little gold, so we're gonna retrieve it. I'm gonna talk to this guy. Make sure he stays. You have come far Looking this way. I'm gonna show you how. There is this hatch here, uh, but it needs to be unlocked. Right, this is the basement. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's disarm it. There are traps about. There you are. What have we got here? Hmm. Murder shall be holy again. Blooded offerings. So they were looking at the at the whole uh, rituals that were uh, found around the, the rituals that Odin did. Uh, these things cannot be open. I mean, the the tombs can. This is a throw based on strength. Oh. Damn, it's good to be alive. A trap. Someone doesn't like visitors. Mmm. It's just one of these. Ah, we can open it anyway. I did not know that. Okay, the other one is because it's uh, it's slightly open on the side. This one you cannot do at all. Very well then. Let's see what have we got. Not much. Okay, here's the price. Oof. I should have seen it coming. Offering, offering to Mistra. 
It's all the thing, all the things that we given, right? The hand and everything. Astarion, my son, get out of there. And there is my money. God damn it. Why can't you cast it? Right. Ooh. Oh no. That's interesting. The uh, amulet of the devout. You gain a plus two bonus to spell uh, save. You gain an additional use of uh, of channel divinity. Once used, it is restored upon taking a long rest. Uh, let me see. We got castigated by the divine. So the the blessing we just got from Seluna was like revoked, or something like that. It's uh, an amulet for a uh, cleric. Mm. Not too bad. How many of just? Well, not bad either. Nothing too much, really. Yes, yes, let's get out of here. Come on, lads. Oh no. <laughs> Very well, let's see. What a day. They really do stay over there. Okay, there they come, right? Come on, Karlak. Just a little fire. Anyway, that's it. We would only come here for the gold. Uh, we can't do much in this place, really, which is sad. Uh, this, if I'm not mistaken, this is where the whole thing with uh, with Gale starts to wrap up and unravel. Right. So yeah, I'm really thinking on doing that uh, dif different little segment on Gale. I don't know. Maybe. Now. Uh... We're gonna get going with the with the whole clown thing, you know, because we got that going. I don't know who has the the parts. Okay, I have the hand and the arm. Someone else has the other parts. We have six. I think it's only seven parts actually. This this thing it's locked. <laughs> And there's nothing random about it. Nope. This is this was uh, one of Orin's big uh, victims. Clown severe pelvis. Circus clothes. What an end for Dribbles the clown. Balthazar. The effigy of Balthazar who lacked ambition uh, what used his refusal. He thought himself free, but destiny claimed he, uh, his corpse the same. Below is an exaggerated signature written in blood. Well. We did kill uh, Balthazar. So, let's make a recount. I really should have uh, only someone having these things. I'm gonna give it to Astario. He has the less weight, I think. Uh, right, so this is the pelvis. Hmm. That is one arm entirely, with the hand included, and then we have the hand alone, and the pelvis. Well, who has the other things then? Normal citizens strung up to die by the city. A real people's broadship would care. Karlak? Oh yeah, Karlak has the head, the leg, and the torso. Right. So. 
Now, actual quick recount. Arm, only hand, uh, the head, the leg, the pelvis, and the torso. So we need uh, an arm, I'm guessing, an arm without a hand, and another leg. I wager. Oh, it's, it's here encumbered. Really? I mean, he does have a lot of stuff, doesn't he? Let's send some of this somewhere else. Right. Yeah, the thing is, he, does, he cannot handle much weight. I did make him lose a lot, I don't know why. Mm, those things I cannot send back, actually. These arrows are really good and in the end I'm, I never use them. I'm a fucking idiot. Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just leaving. I wonder if they... Anyone steals them if you leave them there. Anyway, we're gonna go... I'm wasting enough time already. Mm, to the lower city. Yeah. Because I think uh, I think I know where all the other of the clown parts are. The still watch still around and uh, dead and yeah, people. It's either here. I don't know what this is. No, it's not here. Has to be here then. Holy shit! The fuck? What the? Oh! Oh no, it's you! It's the. Oh no! I don't like this woman. <laughs> And ah, the heart-stopping bloodsucker. Ever since our last liaison, I haven't been able to get you out of my mind. <laughs> Nor have I, no matter how hard I try. Yeah. <laughs> Forgive the mess. Your blood is far more volatile than I'd anticipated. Uh, your work is foul. Wait, my blood. I did give her blood, uh, his, uh, of she's referring to Astarion's blood, I don't remember. No, no, I think I give, gave her my blood. Our blood caused that explosion. It's a breakthrough in the sanguine arms, Wait, whose blood? Our blood? Astarion's as well? Seen. The Grand Matriarch will have no choice but to restore House of Blodra. After I present her with my research. But listen to me, rabbiting on about myself when I have you, the prize bleeder, on my very doorstep. If you'd come inside, we could discuss something far more exciting than drow politics. Drow. Yeah, okay, let's see. Not if you lead me first. I do not... I don't... Uh, Starion disapproves. I don't even remember this. I don't think I ever did it. Old floppy hat. Mm, what's that? It's a key. But I can't... God, what a mess. I can't take it. Glory to the house of, of a Laura. A 
cozy little spot, isn't it? These four walls have witnessed greater alchemical triumphs than the keep of Erngarth Durand. And now that you're here, the crown jewel of my research is soon to be faceted. All you have to do is drink Formula Gruner. I trust you haven't forgotten what happened when I drank something she offered. This formula <laughs> won't be any kinder to you. Right, yeah, Stefan's still salty about that one, eh? Uh, Formula Gruner. Well, yes. Formula Arku through Fruag were spectacular failures. But Gruner... Gruner is different. Believe me. What will this formula do? Uh... When you first entered this home, you saw the incredible latent power within your blood exposed in all its nuances. So that's my blood. All right. Formula Gruner it explodes. will unleash that power within you. What? Risky, but, um, safe. What? A potion that makes you Everything explode. breaking in the background. Seems a bit drastic. I mean, okay, let's see. Oh, marvelous. I've never been so excited for anything in all my days. Just stand over there, far over there, and drink up. Far over there. <laughs> Mysterious Excuse potion. Me, where do you think you're going? What? You'll need to take the potion here, please. Wait, which one is it? This one? Mysterious potion. You know what? Where are you going though? Ah uh ah, -uh, my friend. Formula Gruner stays in the house. I, I'm not going anywhere. Go on, down the hatch. Tick tock, my friend. Tick tock. Excuse me, where do you think you're going? That's come over here. That woman is getting weird. Very well, so where is she gonna stand? Right, because I wanna drink it right be uh, right beside her. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna explode, I don't know. I did a save. Precisely. You absolute You lived, she says. Oh god. This is incredible. I'm seeing stars. She seems surprised you hadn't expect uh how do you expect me to die? Everything breaking in the background. And uh, you tricked me, you paid for that drow. Ooh. I should have known you would turn on me. We might have left the underdark, but his treachery is never far behind. Oh hard as fuck. My friend, I had no such intention. You don't know what this means to me, to my research. You are the world's first detonative exsanguinator. To put it simply, from this day on, your blood goes boom. Big boom. <laughs> it's incredible. All it needs is a spark. What the fuck? Certainly not. But it might do damage to anyone who makes you bleed without your express permission. To so anyone that makes me bleed. Okay. The thing is, I, I don't know. I cannot trust her. She's weird as fuck. Remember that time with Astarion. I assure you, the pleasure is mine. And then... Um, this research will skyrocket House of Blodra back to the forefront of scientific thought back home. 
You know how important it is to protect one's line. With power, ideally, but value works just as well. Now, let me offer you a little treat. In exchange for the teensiest vial of your marvelous blood, I'll give you something that'll really throw your enemies for a loop. I'll only ask a nominal fee in exchange. What? No, I'm not giving you any more. Now, now, darling. Let's not be rude. She said no. You should learn the meaning of the word. Oh. Ah, <laughs> uh, I so hoped it wouldn't come to this. You're not but gonna I can't fight, my prize experiment right? Walk out that door. What you gonna do? I'd hope to take a sample with your permission, but I can do without it. Oh, she's fighting. You die in one hit, you know that, right? That's it. Huh? She's doing it again. What do you got? You barely got anything. Hmm. Junk. Well, that's what it finishes the whole deal with this woman. There is a key here. God knows what it does. Let's see. Lads, this episode is not turning at all as I planned it. Uh, Someone doesn't like visitors. Another trap. Uh, but nonetheless, this is the these are things that I never done really. So to me it's quite interesting. We haven't had much of the lore thing, more more so um Still alive. finish Still alive. unraveling uh the whole thing with the book that was ages ago when we first uh, encountered the book a, Easy. a beholder rotting what the fuck beholder's iris artificial leech what the fuck does she have going on here? A my flare thing. Very well. <laughs> what the hell, lads? Well, hello. Go on. Let's crack it open. One of them spiders from the Underdark has nothing. There is a cadaver here. What? It's not interactable, but it's a fucking corpse, isn't it? How many die today? How many die tomorrow? Hyena ear, Mephit heart. I'm telling you, I never trusted that woman. She's creepy as hell. Anyway, uh, this was not the house. What were we doing? The clown, yeah. Apologize, yeah, lads. This fucking thing. So, yeah, if it's not here, it has to be um, here. Around. Home of Lavernica, groundskeeper of Bloomdridge Park, lover of birds, bees. Oh no, we've been here before. In between. Right. This is where we found. Oh, it's over there. I saw it. No, that one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I know things. 
but it's uh, the game is wide, so I get lost still. There we are. Yeah, it's that one here. Rainforest. This is the private abode of Alexander Rainforest. Friends make appointments. Clients respect office hours. Right. So, it's locked. Let's unlock it with our lockpick. That might be worth a look. Alright, there's lots of blood and the symbols. Right. And rats. Oh, yeah. This is the guy that... Lo uh, this person here uh, had like an obsession with cheese. This is one, another of Orin's victims. You see, it's got cheese records. Yeah. <laughs> Tonight, for example, here it says like tonight I had a cheese, this and that, blah blah blah. Deep into this conspiracy, this conspiracy nonsense. Honestly, it's making you uh, dull. You're coming out for drinks tonight. The singing loot at sundown. You better be there, or we're going to have to come and get you. There's no guarantee it will sober. But yeah, there it is. Doesn't have anything. Cheese record. Just another victim of uh, Orin's stuff. With a flick of the wrist. But I don't know why I put I put it on her. Hmm, but that's odd. Oh yeah, because we have to go to the basement. And the cheese guy is where we find another trap. Uh, another part of the clown. As you can see, another ritual, one of Odin's ritual. And there's a clown. Smells even worse than it looks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very well. Uh, this is the same prayer that you find in every uh, audience uh, ritual around. Some doors here. What is this? Tombstone shop notes. Uh, we already did the whole tombstone thing. That's how you get into the into the the Baal temple. We've done that already. Well, I don't know. What can I send back? Right. The other door. Fuck. <laughs> Just barge into the into the trap. Right. No, nothing else in this place. Very well. So, explain a few things. We've got in the city right now, the only thing we got going in the city right now is the clown's thing. The thing with, with dribbles, the clown. Then, we have uh, to finish unraveling stories, to finish unraveling Carlac stories, uh, Lay Cell, of course, Wheels. We're gonna do, do the whole answer thing. We read the Legion of Answer, so we're gonna get to do that as well. Uh, we gotta finish Karlak's story. Karlak's uh, Karlak story is related to Gortash. So, we actually ha have that left. We should uh, definitely go uh, soon enough to Gortash 
and try and face him. Uh, we got laser story that cannot continue, obviously, as you may know, if we do not get into the prison. So for that, we will wait a little bit. Uh, Will story will be the closer to come. As for... As for the clown, we'll see that in the next episode. But in the next episode, we also are going to see an old friend of us. Uh, I am very tempted on not put any on the title nor in the thumbnail for it to be a surprise but I'm not I don't know I'm I'm wondering about that yeah a good old friend of ours it's going to we're going to re-encounter with him or her who knows but yeah that will be it for today um we're gonna wrap it up here I'm gonna just rest real quick to see if oh well, also What's with Jenna? I brought my own paring knife. Now I just need some ingredients and I'm gonna make something really good, I promise. The the thing is Jenna can die uh, because of Odin, but we killed Odin and she's still here. I don't really know what uh, what's the deal. Also the cat's strange to say the least. Uh but yeah. We're gonna grab it here, I'm just gonna rest in case um, something pops out a cinematic or anything alien is back minsk is rest up everything seems to be in order very well then right nothing new so things to come uh well in the city right now as i said only the clown mission is the only thing we got the lane of answer uh things to come the, the lane of answer um will story unraveling karlak laysel gortash and the mysterious secret friend that we'll see in the next episode uh, and with that being said, I really hope you enjoyed. Uh, it was a little bit of a scattered episode. I found a few things that I didn't know about. That's the reason. Um, I apologize for that. You know, it wasn't the most insightful and readable uh, video episode of this whole series. Uh, but yeah, some things don't go as planned. So, really appreciate you made it to the end of the video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.